Hey guys, how you doing? So, I think most of us at this point at least know about the upgrade plants in PvZ1. Often considered to be the first attempt PopCap would make at a level up system, these plants are generally pretty powerful. We've got some heavy hitters like Gatling P and Cattail, while also having some supportive picks like Twin Sunflower. But in general, all of these plants share one trait. They're useful in some way. So what's up with Gold Magnet then? Alright, I guess I should stop beating around the bush. Gold Magnet is a horribly gimmicky plant, for more than one reason. It's one of the few plants that I genuinely believe puts you at a direct disadvantage by picking it. So why do I believe this? Well, in today's video, we'll be dissecting Gold Magnet's gimmick, its potential usefulness, and if it's overall even worth the discussion. So let's start out with the gimmick. And it's not really a good one. So Gold Magnet can collect coins. Yep, that's it. Video over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, jokes aside, this plant really is that basic. It's just gimmicky. There's virtually no usage for the gimmick in the main playthrough, as you don't really get any more than a few coins at a time. And it's it's not exactly the best thing to use in the various game modes as well, as there's almost no opportunity to use it in a strategy for something like Pogo Party. So what about survival, you might be asking? Well, it depends. And what it depends on is if you pick another plant, Bear Gold. So if you haven't gotten the idea yet, well, Gold Magnet's entire usage is pretty much based off of Marigold, which is basically another gimmick plant. It's a very sad state of affairs considering that you need to bring a gimmicky plant to a level just for another even more gimmicky plant to get any usage whatsoever. It sucks. And honestly, even the method of getting Gold Magnet isn't good. You have to bring Magnet Shroom into a level just to get a Gold Magnet. And while Gold Magnet doesn't need a coffee bean to actually be used, you still have to bring a better plant into a level just to get it. So what do we have here? Basically, it's a plant that only gets some usage out of being near another gimmick plant. Yeah, can you see why people aren't too fond of Gold Magnet now? It's a poor example of PvZ1's creativity, and is more of a stain on the canvas than an actually interesting plant. So, is there any way to make this plant work in the first place? I would say no, not really. But if you you absolutely wanted to, here's what you could do. Get to the final zombie on an adventure level, stall them with a tall nut pumpkin combo, and plant marigolds everywhere. Then plant a couple of gold magnets, and you can almost make this plant work for an AFK strategy. I mean, you still need to do some replanting for the tall nuts and the pumpkins, but besides that, you can AFK to your heart's content. But even in this situation, it's not like you're getting a crazy amount of coins. PVZ1 knows exactly when you're stalling for coins, so it'll often not give you as much as you would get normally. So yeah, even in the best potential situation, for this plant, it's still quite useless. And ultimately, that's the main problem for this thing. It's simply too niche. This plant is way too gimmicky for its own good. I mean, Magnet Shroom itself is a pretty good plant. Why would you go out of your way to make it worse? So, what's the lesson to take away from this video? Well, Gold Magnet sucks. And that's about it. So, I think I'll end this video here. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. I hope this video showed you guys how mediocre this plant really is. And if you're new around here and you like what you see, then drop a like. Maybe even subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Peace.